I feel like God has put everything in my path that I need to see and everything, everything is in divine order. This sky behind me looks really awesome and divine, but I feel like I have been, I've not been held back, but things have been moved around in my life in order to fit exactly where I need to be. Like I was repairing my credit and it, kept me from getting an apartment it kept me from getting a car and i worked effortlessly like is that the right word effortlessly i worked day in and day out to get some money to pay off credit cards and some uh, money to pay off people to help me with my credit specialists and such and it was all for this dream of getting an apartment and getting a car here in la and I realize why I'm gonna fucking cry. I realize why I was held back. I wasn't held back. Or maybe I was held back and God said, it's not your time to do what everybody else is doing. It's not your time to be hustling around LA to have your own car and go from job to job and place to place and gig to gig. Like, this is not what God has in store for me. There's a really beautiful little bird at the top of this tree just just hanging out up there with a long beak and really beautiful. I really love to pause and, and appreciate the nature when when it's there. And birds are really symbolic because you can fly, y'all. You can fly. Just trust and, and jump and let your wings catch you because the birds don't fly without the wind, you know? Like, they have to glide. They don't actually fly. They glide. They use the power of the elements. They harness the elements. Um, but back to my story about being held back, which is actually being held up. So God didn't hold me back. God held me up to a higher standard. God said, Heather, you're not going to have a car and you're not going to have your own apartment and you're going to, I'm going to cry. You're going to suffer this 21st century suffering a little bit before I grant you a better life. And if I got an apartment, I would be uh, financially and legally obligated to stay in that apartment. Um, of course, there's ways around everything. I know that. I'm a hustler. I'm resourceful. However, it's a, it's a mental thing. When you have an apartment to pay for and your name is on it, blah, 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 like, it's one of these mental things. And then the same thing with the car. I needed to... Or I didn't need to. I could have gone and got a car, a shitty car or a nice car with a shitty credit rating which would give me a terrible interest payment on my on my lease or or even buying you know like so I decided to take the high road and to eat the cost of driving and lifting whatever walking scootering not going sacrificing you know I decided to take on the cost of that before I would take on the cost of getting ripped off like we know how the system works so you have to work the system and so I wasn't being held back. I was being held up to a different standard. I'm not supposed to get a car on the mainland because then I would have to spend thousands of dollars to ship it to Hawaii. Um, and then same thing with my, if I were to have an apartment, I would have to have the apartment be taken care of while I'm traveling. Every month I'm traveling. I'm some. I'm in a different region and a different part of the world where my house would be by itself and I mean the house by itself is fine but but then it's not fine you know then I'm paying for four weeks when I'm only getting three weeks and then paying for hotel overseas or whatever or in different region and um I realized just now that I wasn't being held back I'm really being held up to a different standard so that I can live a really courageous life where I go, I book a flight to Hawaii and I, I rent a room over there. I get my own apartment there. Like maybe God was saying, you're going to do everything you can in LA. And there's amazing people here. Like the person that's renting me a room right now, amazing, generous, handsome, hilarious, great person. And I was supposed to come into their life and they were supposed to come in my life and they were supposed to teach me that people are good. <laughs> people are actually really good and 
not all the world has gone to shit and I'm fucking crying but I'm glad I'm glad I'm crying I'm glad I'm letting this out and feeling these emotions of of true gratitude for everything that I've been granted and all of these uh hangbacks or whatever are really setups for something greater where I can go live on an island and I can devote my life to writing and to botany and to my family to my father like I'm gonna go there and we're gonna build our community our home I am going to be a vital part of his retirement and spend time with him like I love the people that I live with I'm so glad to have them in my life but there's nothing like family and so for me to be able to live with my dad is just really special special and spectacular um I'm very excited to help to just be of service where he is he wants this i want we both have something similar that we want and we get to collaborate on it together and it's just so beautiful and i'm witnessing the way that life moves and how how methodical it all is like it's all part of the plan and i'm surrendering to the trust and the unknown just allowing life to serve me and to know like how i'm sitting here crying about not having this and and having to do this and having to do that but it's like all of these things are making me unique and making me special and shaping my journey into what it can be like when when you get a car you are now owned you think you own a car once you get a car you think you own it but reality it owns you you have to work to keep the car you have to maybe stay where you're at to pay for the car like i don't have to stay anymore i can just go i can go to a, another country i can go to hawaii i don't have anything holding me back and that's what that's what this whole thing was about and i see it and i thank you god i thank you i thank you heather the the god within me i'm so pleased i'm so pleased to acknowledge that <sighs> how everything contributes all things contribute to my advancement and there's this little girl in my class named grace and i absolutely love her because her name is grace i mean she's a great woman she's gonna grow up to be a very powerful woman i hope you stay in touch with me grace i hope you find me and we can be friends when you're an adult <laughs> we're friends now but like real friends when you're an adult and i get to watch what you're up to because she's just great and she's always paying attention and always wants always wants to be better and it just reminds me a lot of me and like it's so beautiful to see that in these kids <laughs> um and that's part of my attachment to the city is that this program you know the kids boxing class and developing these new leaders that are just really inspiring and great um but my friend likes to tell me that although you are serving this community there is another community for you to serve which thank you so much misty uh, she lives i live with her and she is just absolutely divine light and exceptional human being like the exception to all rules like everything that you think you know she will blow your mind like oh she's just so awoke <laughs> awoke awake and i was gonna move into these apartments Ugh. I was going to move in there for $1,500 a month or $1,600 a month for a loft, which is actually pretty great for Santa Monica, but, and it's beautiful. There's these flowers, but I have nothing holding me back now. Like it, it's all part of the plan. It's all part of the process. I couldn't be more thankful. And today was a really powerful day with my friend, um, back to Misty. So you are sir there's other communities for you to serve like i really feel like my time is up here i have mentally and physically extracted myself from from everything like i live and i operate in this rhythm but i am mentally i'm mentally gone i'm mentally in hawaii i'm mentally a published author um mentally I'm on another planet like I'm not 
I'm not living my life over here anymore. As soon as I got back from Peru, I could not adjust back. Like normally I take these trips and they're great and I get a lot of a sense of profound clarity. And this time it was so profound. I could feel my energy shift and even even my energy did shift so much and my, my, my whole being shifted. My period is so regular, 12th of the month, without a doubt. Like I know. But this month it's here early. It, it came almost, it came like two days ago and that was, it's, I've been back less than a week. Tomorrow will be, or today I landed, no, 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 I left, yeah, I landed one week ago, a couple hours from now, I landed uh, a week ago. So less than a week, my body has changed in this realm and I'm just recognizing it for what it is and it's so, it's really, uh, it's a it's a lot of guidance into the light of what I am becoming and me and my sister were talking about becoming today and our intentions be intentional with everything that you do I'm intentionally leaving this life behind me everybody everything even who I was because in order to step into who you will become you must surrender who you are now you have to give it up you got to. Okay, 11 minutes. Uh, I really love this feeling that I have, and I'm very pleased with my progress, my self-discovery, my self-awareness. i become so much more aware of where my body is in space. <laughs> like, my dimples in this space. Like, there is so much space around us, and when you eliminate dr joe dispenza talks about being nobody nowhere at no time and that's really how i'm feeling i'm feeling like on a on a spatial level his meditation talks about like sense your chest and the space in your chest and then sense that space in the volume of space like space there is so much space and then you can start to lose yourself where you are just a, a ball of energy this little human form of light operating in this world and it's it's such a blessing it's such a especially to be like good looking and all this like i'm at such an advantage and i'm just thanking the creator for all my advantages everything like in everything this is a reminder that everything that you think has gone wrong is going right <laughs> it's it's really going right i'm so emotional because my period's coming early this month because i've changed <laughs> this is gonna be so funny to watch in 10 years hopefully youtube's still around but i'll i'll collect the videos and make sure keep all the iphones <laughs> none of the charges will work okay i'm being silly i'm bantering but um I couldn't be more happy about the serving of my man, like my what is to be for me. <sighs> thank you, God. Thank you, family. Just thank you to everything. And I say God because I was watching some church thing earlier about um, the Potter House LA, Sarah Jakes Roberts. She's a preacher. And it's just really powerful when you use that word, and it can mean anything you want it to mean, okay? So don't, um, don't be limited by the word. Just allow yourself to feel the feels, you know, to feel supported um, and to feel good about your, your whole life. Like there's nothing going wrong. There's really nothing going wrong. You are all good, baby, baby.